Today we're going to be talking about gravity yet again. Now just before we get started, what I'd like you guys to do is have a go at this multiple choice question. And this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and answer the question independently. And the correct answer is D. The objects will just float away because gravity is having a day off. Oh wait, no, hang on a minute, it's not that. The correct answer is B. Both objects are going to strike the ground at exactly the same time. Now, let's have a look at why this is the case, because this is one of the most counterintuitive aspects of the gravitational theory. We come across this phenomena in the first year of A-level physics, or even at GCSE physics, but why is it that both objects which have a very different mass. I mean, this object here on the right has 10 times the mass of the, um, of the object on the left. Why is it that heavier objects fall at the same rate as a lighter one? Let's find out. Okay, now let's imagine that we have um, an object of mass, let's say, let's say M. Well, and this object is in free fall. So that means that it's dropping down with an acceleration a, which is equal to g, which is approximately 9.81 meters per second squared on average on the Earth. Let's think about what forces are actually acting on this object. Well, we have the gravitational force, which is the weight, which is straight down towards the center of the earth and we know that this force is equal to mg now this force fundamentally is actually the gravitational force with newton's law of universal gravitational attraction we can actually provide a uh, an equation for this force, and we can set that equal to mg. So let's do that. I'm just going to rewrite over here that f is equal to mg. If you remember from our video on Newton's laws, that force f is going to be equal to minus g m m over r squared, and this is going to equal to mg. Just a little note here, capital M here stands for the mass of the Earth, and uh, r over here is the distance from the object to the center of the Earth. Now notice something, in this equation we can fully cancel out the masses, so we can cancel out this m and this m. Now, this means that the gravitational acceleration is independent of the mass of the object. In fact, g, the gravitational acceleration, is equal to minus gm over r squared. This quantity is also known as gravitational field strength and it's one of the most important quantities when we're dealing with gravitational fields. G is going to be different on let's say Jupiter because the mass of Jupiter is, uh, is, is quite a bit greater. Not significantly different though because the radius of, um, of Jupiter is also considerably bigger as well. I think it's about um, uh, 25 uh, meters per second per second or so. I may be wrong, it's worth double checking. However, uh, g is not some crazy value. So, if uh, there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment uh, down below and please consider subscribing.